welcome back to another week of Art Life. Welcome to Exhibition Week. We are in the gallery about to install my first ever solo exhibition. So we're just gonna share with you every part of this journey, as well as a lot of kind of content that we haven't been sharing because we've been so excited and so busy getting ready for the exhibition. So uh, yeah, let's just get straight to it. We don't have time to waste. Hey guys, so just an update. I am at the desk working on my exhibition stuff. I was a little bit kind of swamped with all the work I had to do last week, so I didn't do an Art Life episode, I am sorry, but I'll make up for it this week. Basically the next week or two will all be about the exhibition, the lead up to it, everything I need to plan for it, all the little admin things about websites and catalogues and even the party itself for the private view, all the planning that goes into that to make sure it is a kind of like really relaxed evening and I can just enjoy it and focus on the main thing, which is talking about the work, meeting new people who are interested in the painting and just basically celebrating that I made 19 paintings in under a year and they're all going to be in one space all together for the first time um, to like be seen by people who have never seen my work maybe before and also to share it with you guys along the way. So very excited to kind of blog this whole process of the exhibition and all the things I'm doing to get ready for it. Um, and I'll just keep sharing as I'm doing things. Like right now, I'm just basically making sure my website's up to date with sizes, prices, titles of artworks, pictures, good pictures are really important for portfolio. Um, this afternoon, I'll be making sure there's enough champagne glasses for everybody who comes on the you know, exhibition. I'd love to be painting, but instead, Rafe and I are gonna be making sure there's enough champagne or elderflower cordial for anybody at the exhibition who wants to have a glass of something nice and to look at my paintings. Um, I have to think about a playlist where I want music there on the opening night. I've got some help. I've hired two people to help me do my, do like serving of everything. My sister is a caterer, like she's a chef, and um, she's going to be providing uh, all of the beautiful canapes. So I'm going to make sure she gives us a little bit of information about that. I'm just going to share everything with you guys because I want you to really feel like you're part of the process. It is the most beautiful morning now. We've got a week to go before the exhibition and I need to go to the Royal Academy to collect my painting whimsy, which was shortlisted for the summer exhibition. So from this beach straight to the city. There we have it. The painting is in the car. Finally got it from the Royal Academy on the hottest day of the year in central London. Although I had to get it today because there's going to be a big train strike across the UK tomorrow. So it's the only day I could get it before my exhibition next week. And then I forgot that most of the galleries and museums are closed on a Monday in London. So I got to the Royal Academy and it was shut. Um, but I managed luckily to go around to the Burlington Garden secret entrance um, and they helped me just kind of sneak it out of the uh, of the storage space. So I have it for the show. Um, but I couldn't do my favourite gallery museum, which is the John Soane um, kind of museum. I wanted to show you guys my favourite museum in London. I wanted to do a little gallery tour. Like I was so close to like Corkscrew, like Hauser and Worth, Flowers Gallery, all of my favourite little galleries, which are like nooks and crannies all around the kind of central London area. Most of them were shut because it's Monday and I was like, oh God. So I'll just have to go in again and next time be more prepared with my like timing of when I go to do um, a proper gallery day for you guys. But anyway, I'm gonna get this painting back to the studio um, and yeah, I've got so much to do before my show. So I think I'm just gonna be pottering today. Um, and then yeah, now leading up to the exhibition, it's just kind of all, all steam ahead. So I'm back in the studio and I realised I have just enough time to do one more little painting in time for the exhibition. So using some really summery powder yellows and blues, I've decided to do one of my lovely stormscapes to uh, include in the exhibition. So I ended up doing a few of these little pieces because I found them really cathartic. They're small scale meant I could do them in like two hours. And I felt like having small work in the show as well as the really big work meant that people could go home with something small in a domestic scale, not only exhibiting huge works. These works come along really quickly as well. So they were very satisfying to kind of just create these stormy skies and they helped calm me with all my nerves before the exhibition. best thing obviously is taking off that masking tape at the end that crisp white line oh it looks amazing and when 
you see it in that white frame, I just think it looks magical. I'm going to do this painting particularly with it, a few different variations and include them for the show. Hey guys, so I'm just making a playlist on Spotify called Vista for my exhibition next week. This week? Oh my gosh, the exhibition is in like three days. Um, but I thought I'm going to make the playlist public so if anybody has like an exhibition themselves and need some inspiration for music to play, this is going to be my vibe. So yeah, I'm going to add a link to it if you do have Spotify. Um, lots of kind of positive jazz vibes smooth lo-fi hip-hop nothing to distract from people when they're talking but just to add a nice kind of fun ambiance in the background so all my paintings are in a line waiting to get wrapped um wrapping is a really important if boring part of an exhibition prep because you want to make sure all your works arrive safely one great tip is to make sure that the flat side of the bubble wrap you're using is facing uh is touching the painting and the bubbly side is facing out also, all my walls are really bare. It feels very strange in the house, but all the paintings are ready to go. So we've just unwrapped. The most important thing from my years of experience curating shows is to fold up all the bubble wrap and label it with every painting that it went with because you have no idea when you're de-stretching, when you're like de-assembling an exhibition, how much you need to be able to wrap things quickly and efficiently with the right size piece of bubble wrap. I've done so many shows where I just can't find enough or what goes where. So Rafe was making fun of me, but I think that that's actually a very important thing to do. Um, it's, okay, so we've got everything. The big decision will be, do we have, um, the big thing decision we have to make is this is an old apothecary. Oh, this is an old apothecary, and we've got some beautiful high windows. Um, but obviously, they've got the original paneling going through them. So, do we put an artwork? What oh, a fire engine! Oops. Oops. Um, do we put an artwork right up against the glass so people come in from the street, or do we just keep the artwork inside, maybe having some small kind of paintings in the window, or nothing at all? It's also interesting to see that the work from the summer, spring and winter, and a little bit from the autumn, it does feel very seasonal. So do I make kind of seasonal decisions about where I clump together paintings, or do I just mix it all up? Um, it's an actually, it's a really big space, like there's loads of light, high ceilings. It feels like with the private view this evening, we're gonna be able to have at least 100 people if like we need to. We've got quite a lot to do, but, we're relaxed and that's the main thing, it's about not getting stressed because you can't make good curatorial decisions when you're stressed. So we have to curate the show and while I want to explain every single detail about how I want to hang everything beautifully and not kind of crowd anything, I just realised that I actually need to do it and I will share as much of our life as I can but it might be more helpful just to kind of give you a bit of taste of what we're doing and then we'll edit, edit it all together after with a bit more kind of when we're calmer and less kind of like all over the place. So that's all we've got time for this week. As you can see, we've got lots to do to get this exhibition ready, but please tune in next Monday for more progress of hanging the exhibition. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.